Sarah Palin is. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great way to. That's a great way. To, oh yeah. Nice little segue there. Sarah Palin. <laughs> Sarah Palin came out with a new book, and and she she's calling it Sarah Palin's War on Christmas, and she oh, it's actually Sarah Palin's Good Tidings and Great Joy is actually oh. the name of the book, and she made an audio book, and I, I you know what I it's her it's supposed to be her own voice, and I, I think it is. But I don't think she actually read it or remembered it because there's a, a great website out there. Uh, it's at NewYorkMagazine.com. It's NYMag.com. Just look up. It is ingenious. It is ingenious. It's the Sarah mm-hmm. Palin War on Christmas soundboard. They had a little Christmas tree with a Sarah Palin there. And every time you click on one of the ornaments, Sarah starts going like she's like she's going to eat something. And then she's, then it, there's an audio clip that spouts out something. Now, if these are actual clips from her book. Yeah, they are. Yes, they are. And they're, they're clips from the audio book. Right. These are clips from the audio book. Now, I'm going to play a couple of these. And I want you to take in mind of what she's saying here. These are in a very specific order. These are not in the order they are in the book or on the, the Christmas tree as there is on the page there. But there's some very interesting comments here that I want you to listen to. Perhaps Christmas causes so much anger because the very name of the holiday broadcasts the name above all names. Now, I want you to keep that into consideration. Yeah, I know. I, I, and then she said, she goes on to say this. This is one of her previous clips. Because hearing a word you don't want to hear is a big freaking deal. Okay, now remember that one. She's talking about Christmas. Though. Yeah, she's talking about people Hearing saying the word Christmas, Christmas is a big freaking deal. Right. And then now, then she says this. Walgreens' 24-page nationwide circular used the word holiday 36 times without one mention of Christmas. So apparently she forgot this one. Because hearing a word you don't want to hear is a big freaking deal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and... I, I do not believe that she can count to 36. I don't think she can count that high either. <laughs> I think someone had to count it out for her, you know, because she ran out of fingers and toes. But anyway, we're going to put up. <laughs> Would you take off your shoes, please? Take off your shoes. I need more to- I need more toes. But anyway, we're going to put up the clock here. We're going to put up our timer. And our- there's our timer. And we're going to start do this reverse Robin. So uh, Lee gets to go first. And our timer starts now. What am I doing? Just giving you my yeah, thoughts? Yeah, just give your thoughts on this, yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have nothing really to say about it. I mean, I think it's it's self-explanatorily stupid, um, objectively dumb, and there's... there's The problem is, is that people actually will listen to it. They'll believe it. They will... Mm-hmm. Uh, They'll listen to what she has to say because instead of doing research, they just will uh, read a book or, I guess, listen to a book if it's more convenient. Um, to a woman that they they already agree with, yeah. And so uh, the problem is 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 um, my my own mom is a is a Tea Party Republican, and so this is like my her bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, so this is you know her bread and butter. There, you know, mm-hmm. listen to Sarah Palin, mm-hmm. and she's loving it. Pal- oh, you do that very well. You do that really thanks. well. I, I, I should just had you do with it. <laughs> should, should I make a soundboard? Sure. <laughs> okay, make up your we'll version. Make a later. <laughs> uh, but that's 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 the kind of stuff they already believe in. So these, you know, it's not like um, it's not like it's going to do anything to say anything about it. Uh, aside from the fact that it's uh, obviously hypocritical, what she said uh, or what she said that you play back to back to back. Right. Uh, they don't care. They're already just uh, talking about things they already agree with. If they really cared about the truth, they would have done any ounce of research. Um, mm-hmm. The history of Christmas, or the fact that December has many holidays in it. So mm-hmm. saying "Happy Holidays" is a more inclusive thing to say. It's not Absolutely. just the Christmas season; it's the Hanukkah season, it's the Kwanzaa season, it's it's what Boxing Day. That's well, it's after Christmas, but that's a thing that people do some places. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's uh, it's it's ridiculous to try to narrow it down and pretend Christmas is the only holiday. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so, because they think it's all about Jeebus. And that's yeah. as far as the same they, from the they truth. The same people, they get mad if you say Xmas, you know, even oh, though Xmas yeah. is, is technically Christ, what is it, Christos in Latin. So it's, it is Xmas. It literally is Xmas. And that is not disrespecting uh, the, reli- or the, the holiday at all from a religious standpoint. So, I mean, these people don't even understand what's going on and they don't want to. And that's the big point. They don't want to understand. Yes, that's, that, that's basically it, too. That's basically it. There, there's nothing you can tell them. So yeah. this book is just uh, you know, somebody who knows how to manipulate some other people and is making money off of it. Which well, it's know, not going to make probably most likely not going to make a whole lot of money because the last book she wrote, quote unquote, 
did very, very poorly. I think that they filled the landfill with the rest of them and then <laughs> yeah and so i don't expect this one to do any better except for it the only people who are going to buy this book are people who want to make fun of her and of course she just yeah. opens her mouth and she just does it all to herself so. yeah exactly um i think she's just maybe running out of on her 15 minutes of fame just trying to get a little bit last cash absolutely yeah. absolutely connie your thoughts oh well where do you start i mean i mean you know <laughs> Uh, you know, one of the sound bites she has on one of these bells, uh, these ornaments, is America is one of the oldest nations. And <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, yeah, she did, she says this, and so I'm like, oh, what is the oldest nation? You know, because I I'm curious. And yeah, San Martino, San Marino, Japan, China, France, Iran, Austria, Denmark, Hungary, Portugal, Mongolia, Thailand, Andorra, Switzerland, Monaco, and Spain are the 15 oldest nations and I can't you know I don't know does somebody just give her a, a speaking spell mm. and put together a bunch of words you know for I'm book? saying words look at me I'm saying words <laughs> I wish it was the only book out there about this so-called war on Christmas but I found at least two others and I know that this has been something that like Pat Robertson and and his ilk have all been talking about they think that they own the holiday oh yeah just because you know the the name being christ's mass and yeah. uh but actually you know another little meme i found you know the christians came and stole basically stole this winter solstice mm -hmm. uh holiday from the pagans at knife point said convert or die convert you know? or i will fucking kill you <laughs> well, they, did they use a sword is what i want to know well, probably, or, or they probably put... They... Oh, I, was, I was saying, did they use a sword? Did they not oh, the samurai sword. Yeah, they use the samurai sword. <laughs> Give us well, your tacos, they the, your Christmas tacos. And no, and no replicas from Winters. Yeah, it was yeah, a exactly. real thing. <laughs> they were the real deal. That's why the pagans gave it up. <laughs> they That's didn't right. want to mess with that. <laughs> when I look at Sarah Palin, all I can think of is that one episode of The Simpsons that was the Treehouse of Horror where, oh, yeah. you know, they, they just don't look. You know, the, just don't look at her. Just she'll go away. If we stop looking at her, she'll go away. <laughs> <laughs> so. I wish that were true. I she She's like a she's like the zombie Jesus. She's a virus. She, yeah, she's the virus. Yeah. No, she's like yeah. the zombie Jesus. You know, she she keeps popping up at Halloween and, <laughs> and at parties, you know. Whatever, Joe. Your thoughts? Yeah, there was a great meme that went around on Facebook and Twitter about this. It had a picture on top of the Obamas at the national tree lighting ceremony, and underneath it, it had a picture of Sarah Palin at a bookstore with a pile of her books, and it said, uh, "The Obamas lit the national Christmas tree." Meanwhile, across town, Sarah Palin was signing copies of her book about the war on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I mean, right there, I mean, it tells you, you know, she's she's in this for the money. She's oh, yes. like like Lee said, she's she's writing out her last of the 15 minutes of fame she has. Um, I saw one commenter say it was so funny. She, they said plague on John McCain for inflicting her upon us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, John McCain! She would have been a, a complete nobody had he not tapped her, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. Just, and then she, uh, would have, she wouldn't have quit her job. Oh, maybe she would have. She, of course, she's quit every job she's had. So... She, she quit her job to be on a reality Jones. show, and people still, like Fox News keeps her as a consultant. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand uh -huh. that either. It's just she's she consultant quit. What? Yeah, she's such a oh man. She she's she should join the non quitters club because she of course then she'd quit that too. But <laughs> 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 all right, well we have you know, about I, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to touch on something real quick sure. about uh, uh, the war on Christmas. Um, you know, as somebody who's a former fundamentalist Christian, um, the whole idea is that you, the stronger of a Christian you are, the more that you follow Jesus, the more that the world will hate you and persecute you. Mm -hmm. So they have to invent this persecution. Oh yeah. Because to them, that makes it uh, that that makes it like a biblical prophecy coming true. You know, see, G, oh, you know, yeah. the Bible says that we'll be persecuted, and see, there's a war on Christmas. So it's it's uh, they're going to look for stuff like that. They're going to ignore of the course. fact that there's holidays, and it's 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 sad. Yep. So that's it. Nope, oh, that, and that's our time, and that's our. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yay! <laughs> and but, and you never seen so many people sitting around wishing they could be persecuted. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> to be fair, it's a persecution complex. Yes, and, and to be yeah. fair, to be fair, we're gonna give Sarah the last word. What do you say, Sarah? 
Hoo-ah. I couldn't have said it better myself. There we go. She agrees with us. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. Thank you, sir. Palin Soundboard. <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> I think she agrees with us. What do you What do you say, Sarah? Hoo ah! I couldn't have said it better myself. See, there you go. <laughs> Rousing endorsement. <laughs> she she endorsed us. Yeah. She endorses us. I Sarah I Palin was endorsing the army. They say hoo ah. That's what she was doing. I think she's a, she's a Texas wannabe. I think that's where that where that comes from. But, ah, I got you. <laughs> Everything's not bigger in Alaska. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs>